We have always tried to blur the lines between residential and retail. The next logical step was how do you blur the lines between home and hospitality? This was a location that we all knew was a long shot. I don't think there's a retailer on the planet that would have considered this location. But we thought, what if we take this old building that's been sitting here mothballed for 20 years and we bring it back to life? This project is not separate from the traditional history of the three arts. It's more a continuation of building, building a new chapter. It was a building that was for young women to study the arts, the performing arts, the musical arts, and the visual arts. We thought we could bring some of those arts back to life. We could leave the historic stage and we could have musical performances here. We could do an RH contemporary art gallery on the top floor. And then we thought, and we can bring in the culinary arts. If you really think about it, and I told you to define a restaurant, you would probably give me all these rules, right? That has waiters or hosts and bartenders, and you order and food comes out, all those things. And I didn't want any kind of reference point, really. There's no hostess. There's no reservations. You can come sit down in the courtyard. You can sit down in the library. You can sit down up on the modern floor. You can sit down up on the roof. Everything you look at, you can buy. And everywhere you sit, you can eat. I just want it to be almost residential and feel. If you could have amazing food at your house every single day, that's what this would be. We want to be able to attract interior designers and architects here. And so we said, why don't we build a design atelier? It's an incredible design resource. From the window treatments, to the rugs, to the furniture finishes, to the fabric finishes, it's all accessible and it's easy to start to concept and, and design your home. Coming to RH now represents something that nobody would have predicted a few years ago. This isn't really a retail space. This is a space where people come to just start to imagine their life, right? Like, what, is the, what does their home look like? It makes everyone pause when you experience it to consider new things. Think about the way we live. Think about the way we eat. Think about the way we want to interact socially. I think that's really what RH is all about, is looking for new ways of expressing lifestyle. It's impossible to relate what this is unless you see it. You can try to describe it, but the greatest success I've had, I just stop talking, I just invite them in and just say, come on, let's take a walk around. And everyone leaves saying the same thing, that this is amazing, and it is. All of these things together, from the product to the integration of the hospitality and then the people create something that is truly one of a kind in the world and is truly a field of dreams.